So about 3,000 men went up there from the people. But they fled before the men of Ai. Hello, are you there right now? They conquered Jericho. Now they came to a small place called Ai. The people of Israel said, oh, this is a small town. Oh, we have hit bigger places. This is a small thing. And the men of Ai struck down 36 men. Listen to me. If you read the Bible, the Bible says in Jericho, Israel did not lose even one person. Their collateral damage or their casualties was zero. But in Ai, 36 people were killed. The people of Ai ran after them, chased them. And verse 5 says, The hearts of the children of Israel melted and became like water. It says, fear gripped them. My friend, what Akan did, it affected so many families. Some wife lost her husband. Some brother, some lost his brother. Some sister lost his brother. One man! The Bible says, they could not stand before the children of Ai. My friend, there are many believers. This is what exactly happens to many believers. They are praying. They are singing. They are coming to church. They are serving the Lord. But they are not seeing any victory in their life. Could there be some accursed thing, accursed object in their family, in their home, like that man from Mumbai? Is there something that is opening a gateway, that's opening something, a door to the demonic? They were not able to stand before their enemies. And Joshua, you see first, we will have God. This is not for the people who only take their Bible, kiss it and keep it back. No, sir. On Good Friday, they kiss it and they visit church only on Christmas. No, I'm not talking to such people. You can continue doing what you're doing. But I'm talking to the people who are saying enough is enough. I want to see a breakthrough in my life. Somebody shout hallelujah.